Hi, this is Susan Kelmer. A few people have asked me about my normal template for Microsoft Word, and I actually created a template that has all of the styles and headings and um, everything the way I like them, and it also includes all of my um, macros, which I can obviously create and delete as I need to. Um, but I thought I'd share, uh, first of all, the template with you if you want to use it. I'd also show you how to replace the normal .dotm template in your version of Microsoft Word, so you'll have that template available to you. The value of the template is that all of our documents come out very consistently if we're using that template that we've adjusted with our own types of settings. So for example, um, I use uh, Times New Roman, I use certain font sizes, I use certain font colors, um, and I want that to be consistent. And we actually deploy this template onto all of our lab production machines so that every student staff member who's working on documents for us will create a consistent looking document that matches all the other documents. So our students who are getting files from us don't have one file that's formatted one way and another file that's formatted another way. They're all consistent. So I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to give you the link to uh, the normal .dotm file that we use. Uh, so you can have that if you wanted. It's freely available. Um, we don't restrict that by copyright or anything else. So the first thing I want to do is to navigate to uh, where my templates are stored um, on my system. And this is consistent with every Windows system out there uh, that's running Microsoft Office products, whether it's 2013, 2016, uh, Office 365, whatever version that you have. So you're going to navigate to your hard drive and you're going to look for users and you're going to look for the username that is specific to you on that machine. And you can see I have several users and that's because there's other mach other uh, users who may log into this particular computer. And I know this is my login for this computer. So a lot of times it has something to do with your login if you're on a network or if it's your personal machine, you're not on a network, it's whatever the name of the machine is. So you want to find that one. A lot of times you're just going to have one or two. You're not going to have a bunch to pick from. Um, but you should be able to recognize which one is the user for that machine. For yourself. So in this case, this is mine. And from in here, I'm going to go to app data and you can see it's slightly grayed out. That's because Windows doesn't want you to mess with it, but it's it's available to you. So don't worry about that. Double click app data, select roaming, and then you want to select Microsoft and templates. And that was a deep dive, but we got there. This template, normal.dotm, is the one that comes with Word. Whenever you open Word, it's going to open this template and put up all the normal formatting that you have. And so in most versions of Microsoft Word right now, you're going to get a standard font of Calibre, which is ugly, um, and standard settings for sizes and all kinds of stuff. Well, we don't use that template. We don't like the way it looks, doesn't provide the accessibility that we want for our files. So I actually created my own template and it's sitting up here on my desktop. I'm going to move this just a little bit. I actually copied it out to my desktop. Now I already have the right template here, but I need to show you how to replace it. So you want to make sure you do not have any versions of Microsoft Word open. So I had one open. Um, I actually could go ahead and uh, go to the task manager. I want to make sure that I do not have any version of Microsoft Word running or any, uh, and, or even Excel running in the background. So right now everything looks closed. I'm just gonna scroll through and make sure that I don't have anything running that's Microsoft Word and no, we're good here. So once it's closed, then I can start manipulating uh, my normal template. So the first thing I wanna do is to take the original and give it a different name. And I usually call it old or add a one behind it or something. I'm changing its name. If I were to try to open Word right now, it wouldn't be able to open because it couldn't find the template. And that's good because I don't want it to open this one. This is the old one. I want to take my new one and I want to put it in here instead. So I'm going to take this one. I can simply do 
click and drag. Actually, I have to do right click. I'm going to copy it to my templates. So now I'll have a normal and a normal old. The old one I can delete. Uh, I don't need it anymore because I put the new one in there. So I've basically replaced um, the original template. So now if I open Word, I will get this template that has all of my settings in place and is ready to go. I'm putting a link up to download my normal template so you can grab that. It's just a bit.ly link and you can save that and do this process yourself. So you navigate to where the templates are located. You rename the original, give it a different name, add something to it, but make it different. And then copy in the downloaded copy of the normal template that you got from me. That's as simple as it gets. Once you're done, you can close this file window and you can open up Microsoft Word. And it will open with your template in place and ready to go. So you can see mine has Times New Roman. Um, my heading levels all have Times New Roman up to level four. Um, I have all of my macros saved in here. There's a lot going on here. Um, but having that template set so that you use it consistently and use it across different computers means that you'll have a consistent output for your students who need it. Thanks for watching.